Uh, hi guys. Mm, I thought I'd do this with. Um... Anyway, let's get into this. So I am. Um, it's lockdown. We are on day 50, I believe, in South Africa of this lockdown and stuff. And um, I, I've been hearing a lot of things and seeing things about productivity uh, during confinement and so on. So I'm not just. I'm not very happy with what I've been hearing. Let me get this thing out of the way. Ah, uh, there we go. That's much better. Bloody hell. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of people out there telling people that um, if you don't feel like it, you shouldn't do anything during this lockdown. And I just want to express my um, extreme disagreement with that um, advice. It's terrible advice, very bad advice, selfish advice if you ask me. Because most of the people who are telling people that it's okay for you to sit and only watch series during this lockdown are actually doing work and they're actually doing lots of things that are productive and that are advancing their life. Now you see, life is a race. Um, you might have heard this before, you might not, but life is a bloody race. And if you aren't running, you are losing. And if you are running, then good job. That's all you need to be doing. You don't need to be ahead of the race or running the fastest or running the longest. You just need to be bloody running every time. And if you're going to take a pause right now, nothing else is taking a pause. I hope you've noticed that your bank account didn't stop, your stomach still needs food, your children still need food, your friend, your parents still need food, the government still takes its taxes, everything is going on. If you've got a loan, the bank still bloody takes its interest. So why are you thinking that you deserve a break right now? If you've earned your break, then take your break. I'm not saying don't, but I'm saying don't take it just because we're on lockdown. That shouldn't be the reason why you are taking a break. You should take a break because you deserve it or because you actually need it. So if you're under like extreme stress and anxiety and you're taking a break to recover from the extreme stress or anxiety, good job, take that. But don't think that anything else is gonna stop or that that's okay. You are slowing down whilst everyone else is moving on. Essential workers are working, they are earning their income, contributing to their retirement annuities, and they are preparing for the future. So if you take too long a break, you've lost quite a bit. Now, the basis of this thing of taking a break, um, I understand that circumstances have changed. Some people have to work from home when they don't have any capacity to do that in terms of the fact that they have so many people in the house or they have so much noise or bad internet and so on. But that means you can work slower. That doesn't mean you shouldn't work at all. And by work, I don't mean you need to do exactly what you were doing before lockdown. But you need to do something productive that's advancing your life. That's making sure that you are, at after this whole lockdown, that you've actually moved forward and not backwards. That you've actually made progress. Because we are, everyone else is making progress. If you aren't making progress, you are falling behind. And that's not a good idea. Don't let someone lie to you and tell you to chill. Because they aren't chilling. The fact that you saw them talking about that thing means they are doing something. Because often you saw it on a vlog or something like that. That means that person's doing a vlog. Which means they're trying to glow, grow their... My word, glow. <laughs> they're trying to grow their channel or their Instagram or whatever. Then why shouldn't you be growing yours? So bloody hell, get up and work. I understand like if you're a student, it's probably difficult. Because you've never had to work in these conditions. It's bloody difficult. But that doesn't mean don't work. That means start small. Because you need to get used to, of course, working from home. You need to get used to the new challenges, the new desk. The fact that you can't see your friends and your lecturers are far away. To so start small, if you're working prior to lockdown, 12 hours a day. It's most likely that you can't do 12 hours a day right now. So it's okay if you do 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 hours a day. Start somewhere, 10 minutes. High school students, same advice to you. Start somewhere and start building that up. Okay? Uh, do 10 minutes today, tomorrow, 20 minutes. By the end of the week, you find yourself you're at an hour or 50 minutes, depending on how long your week is. And, um, and so on. And then by the time we are like today, day 50, if you've been doing that, by now you are almost likely working about the same amount of hours as you were working prior to lockdown so mental state key don't tell yourself that you can't study under lockdown you can it's just difficult you can't study at home you can it's just more difficult than it was before but just because something becomes difficult doesn't mean you can you have to stop it means your progress might become slower 
it means you might need a lot more time to get through things you might need to relax a little bit more than you used to because there's this extra stress but that doesn't stop you from working so don't lie to yourself and don't let anyone lie to you so you hear someone telling you to chill and do nothing and telling you that it's okay you tell them that they're a liar tell them what they are we should call a cat what a cat is okay thank you uh keep well and um yeah i hope i can make some more like this but i'm doing the most to keep productive during this lockdown um i had some difficulties because i couldn't work at the start of it so i had to switch things up i mean most of my breaks i spend them playing music or recording songs or writing songs or learning something how to play something on the guitar and i realized that after like 10 15 days into lockdown that that wasn't working anymore it was actually stressful to play music so i tried something else i started watching movies and series which is something i hate um, honestly but i started doing it and now i'm actually and i found it i'm actually enjoying it more than music which is very sad but true um and it works for me because now it allows me to at least continue doing my work okay like i can do my work because um i'm actually getting the kind of um what can i call this thing the kind of rest that i that is good for me that allows me to rejuvenate and re uh, charge and then continue with my work the next day and so brilliant don't let anyone lie to you work hard and work smart and start small don't worry um, Rome wasn't built in one day. The journey of a thousand miles starts with one small, tiny 